Um, I'm going to try this, this uh, Orange Zones app again um, and see how it goes. We'll start with our dynamic warm-up. Four minutes of work here today. We are featuring coaches from around the nation. Um, this young lady, I think, is in Virginia. And then we've actually got a coach from down, down SoCal, which is kind of cool. So starting off first with that internal and external hip rotation, we'll do 30 seconds on each side. So coming up and out to open up the hip. I would do maybe two or three one way, and then we'll take two or three the opposite way. From there, we'll go to a squat with a front raise, feet about hip, shoulder width apart. We'll sit back in that squat, bringing those arms up, and we'll stand all the way up. Shake it out and then do it again. Option, of course, is to limit your range of motion. From there, we've got a reverse lunge, stepping back into that reverse lunge, torso rotation into that front knee, reset and do it again. And then we're gonna finish it up with some butt kicks. You can keep those hands at your hips or you can pump those arms as if you're running in place. And the option could be running in place or just coming up and pumping the arms and standing in place and kicking those heels to the glutes, all right? So four minute warm up, a little shorter than normal. Well, a minute shorter than normal. Um, still some good exercises to get us going. So when you're ready, you can start with that internal and external hip rotation. In three, two, one, here we go. We're gonna do a couple external, a couple internal. You could alternate too if you wanted. That chest nice and tall. We'll switch legs in three, two, one, switch sides. Oh, and she's combining her squat to front raise. So we'll do that. I like that. A little different. Here we go. Reset those feet in three, two, one. So we're going to squat back, lifting the arms as we go. Bring the arms down as you stand. I sometimes feel like they give these workouts to, to coaches. <laughs> we're like, okay, what does this mean to us? This is what we're going to do. I like it. Different way to warm up the body. Trying to get a little more range of motion through those shoulders as you go. Coming up, we're going alternating reverse lunge in three, two, one. Here we go. Stepping back, rotate into that front foot. So opening up that hip, trying to find some balance first thing this morning. Waking up that lower back, middle back. A little more than halfway here. Feeling that stretch in that hip flexor. All right, so going to butt kicks to finish it off in three, two, one, let's go. So again, you can keep those hands on your hips or you can pump those arms. When you bring those feet down, guys, you kind of want to drop the heels. And not just staying on the ball of your foot. I 
We got four blocks of work today. We're gonna grab those mini bands. Just a moment. In three, two, one. All right, here she is, Coach Daisy from Corona Del Mar. So you guys are gonna need your mini bands for lower body. So probably going with the orange or the red. No weights required on this block. We're gonna go for eight minutes of work. So we guys put your mini bands on. We're gonna start off, nothing really new here. You've done all these exercises before. Starting off with your lateral walk. So you wanna set your feet between hip and shoulder width apart, toes are pointed forward, sitting into that squat hold. You're gonna take three steps in one direction, making sure your feet are always hip width apart. Then you're gonna take three steps in the other direction. That's one, you have six, okay? So remember, you wanna stay in that squat position. From there, squat, come up and set, shift the weight. You have a little bit of lateral raise. This is a new mini band and it is slipping all over the place. So hopefully when I get sweaty, it won't. So again, you're gonna squat, set, little bit of squeeze in the glute at the top if you don't have a mini band, and you'll do 12 total alternating as you go. Your monster walk, remember you're making that letter C. So starting in that squat hold, coming up, big C, two, three, and then you're gonna go back the same way you came. Make sure you plant your whole foot, and then I would reset at the back and then change your lead leg, okay? So four steps, oops, I did three. Four steps forward, four steps back is one. You have again, six of those. From there, you're gonna set your feet a little narrower, fingertips behind your head, elbows back. We're just gonna work that hip hinge, stretching out through the hamstring, and then we'll come back up. Keeping your belly button pulled in as you go, your option is to limit your range of motion. So that's kind of your recovery exercise. Rep counts down below. If you guys need anything else, don't hesitate to unmute and ask away. Again, we're gonna start off with six total ISO squat lateral walks, three steps on this one, three steps out, three steps back. Here we go in three, two, one, let's go. Staying low, keeping those toes pointed forward. Without it, shoulder blades pinched in the back. Time. Look inside your Belly heart button pulled in look here. Inside mine. Things look so bad everywhere. In this whole world, what is fair? Always keeping those feet minimum and try to see hip distance apart, guys. Falling behind what could be. Now on that leg raise, you're gonna shift your weight slightly. You're alternating for 12 total. Set, draw the belly button in, and a little raise. Nice, you got it. When you go monster walk, remember you're making that sweeping move with your leg. Four steps forward, four steps back. You want to reset that squat. And then again, when you get to the back, reset. Change the lead leg. Try to stay in that squat.
Plant that whole foot. Your toes are always pointed forward. The big thing on these good mornings, guys, the nice flat back. You just want to feel that stretch in the hamstring. Come all the way back up. Your knees are soft here. Your knees are soft. Got to add us back about 10 seconds. So we're coming up right about now. We're halfway. Get into round two. Find that squat hold. Toes pointed forward. Knees in line with your second and third toe always. And you're pulling those shoulders back. So you want to retract your shoulder blades. All those little stabilizer muscles activating this mini band. Don't forget about your abs. That belly button's got to pull in. Belly button pulls in to support the lower back. probably most of us, which is great. And if you're not quite that far, that's okay too. Open up my eyes and tell me who no I minimum am. here. Mm -hmm. Let me We've got about two see minutes to go here. Staying low on that monster walk. Try to keep that spine nice and neutral, guys, so not looking down. I just had to pull my chin up off my chest. About a minute, guys. About a minute here. I want you to keep working until I call time because I've had to add on a few seconds since I started the block a little into our eight minutes. So just keep working here. Listen for my cues.
Doing one more rep here. One more rep in three, two, one. All right, so you guys can have a seat or hold on to something and take that mini band off. Uh, we're going to, where's Victor? I can't remember where Victor is. Victor is somewhere that is not in California. Um, anyway, we'll probably see him again. All right, so on this one, you're gonna need your, your weighted objects, okay? So we've got a, just a quick five minute block. This guy is a badass. You will see this in a moment. No, you don't need any, any weights. You, I lied, you don't need any weights. Here we go. So this is a new one. It's an in, in, out, out. So we've done the out and in on the agility, but now we're gonna go in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, okay? So your option will be to slow it down. In, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. We're gonna go for 30 seconds. Then we've got that foot exchange where you make that box on the floor and you're going in and out, okay? The heels are dropping. Your options, step it in, step it out, step it in, step it out. From there, the lateral three-step sprint, one, two, three, one, two, three, okay? Option, slow it down, walk it out, but pump the arms. Then we'll take 15 seconds rest. So essentially, it's a 90-second effort. Think more of a push building into an all-out effort. 15 seconds rest, and we'll do it for three rounds. Cool? All right, here we go. The new one, the in, in, out, out. Be nice to yourself if you don't get it the first time. It's okay. Here we go. In three, two, one, let's go. We've got a couple opportunities to practice it. But pump those arms. Ten seconds. In three, two, one, foot exchange. Go right into it. Let that heart rate settle a little bit. Three step sprint. Here we go. In five. Three, two, one, let's go. Pull that knee. Pop those arms, guys, come on. Halfway. Woo! In three, two, one, recover. Breathe it out, okay. Another opportunity with these ins and outs. You just gotta keep those knees firing, guys, like pistons. Here we go, in three, two, one, let's go. Halfway. In five. Foot exchange. Three, two, one. Right into it. So uncomfortable, but not quite intense. Ready. Three step sprint. Three, two, one. Let's go. Pull that knee halfway. Five, three, two, 
One, recover. Whew. All right, we got one more round. You know we're gonna have 45 seconds on that last one. Just be prepared. No, we're not, they timed it right. Okay, here we go. In three, two, one, let's go. Out, out, in, in. Today, in the world of freedom, 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 the proudest boast is the end. Three, two, one, right into it. Put it in. Put it in and out. Imaginary box. Woo. All right, guys. Big haul out here. Three temp lateral sprints. In three, two, one, let's go. Pull that knee up. Pull that belly button in. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, in five, three, two, one. Catch your breath. Woo. Grab a quick sip of water. We're going to Ohio. That was good. I like that. That out, out, in, and in. That was, that was intense, man. Okay, here we go. Coach Jen. You are going to grab either your medium or your heavier weights. Um, we're going to start with a single leg deadlift. You're going to do eight on each side. Shoulders are back and away. Tap the toe behind you. And just like that same hip hinge we had with the mini band, you just want to hinge forward and come back. You can tap the toe if you need to, but looking for that hip hinge. Let those weights counterbalance and come back, okay? You do eight on each side, you're gonna limit your range of motion to make it work for you. Alternating lateral lunge, 16 total. Stepping out, each weight comes to the side of the body. If you only had one weight, you could hold it at your chest, but do make sure that your chest stays lifted here. Back to center, we'll take it over to the other side. Make sure, guys, that you're pushing your hips back and your spine is staying long. From there, we got the hip bridge march. So you'll take it down to the floor, drive up the hips. We're gonna march it out. We're gonna pull it in, okay? When you pull those feet in, they're dropping right under your knees, and the goal is to keep the hips elevated the whole time. Any point in time you need to drop them for a little break, you can, it is 12 total. Both feet go out, both feet come back in, that's one rep. Then you've got a forearm plank alternating leg lift. So into that forearm plank hold, eyes are looking right between the hands. We're just gonna drive up the heel, squeezing the glute, back to center, and then reset and do it again on the other side. As an option, you could keep that opposite knee down or you could come up to your palms. It's 12 total, okay? So 16 total on the first two, 12 total on the second two. We've got eight minutes of work and you're just gonna work until time's called, all right? Here we go, friends. Grab those two weights, single leg deadlift. Make sure you've got your balance in three, two, one, let's go. This is not a tactic to expose your face I'm just trying to see you in your moment, baby No, this is not a tactic to expose you, baby I'm just, I'm just trying to see you in your face Keeping those shoulders back and your belly in Like stability this week, guys. Just feeling a lot more confident 
balancing on that foot. Guys, that bridge march, I don't know why I mess that up all the time. You're pulling that knee in 12 total times, keeping your hips up. You're not marching out. You're marching the knee into the chest. One day I'll get that one right. So still the same concept in that you want those hips to stay elevated. Hands at your sides, neck and head are relaxed. Lifting that foot, drawing that knee towards your chest. 12 total times, not letting the hips drop as you remove a leg, okay? So keep those hips firing, belly button pulled in. You flip it over, plank leg lift, driving up that heel just enough to squeeze the glute nice and tight before you drop it back down. Remember on that plank team, your eyes are looking at the floor. Your spine is nice and long. that deadlift again. Make sure your spine is long. You're not hunching over. Have you guys keep that chest forward. Remember, you're lunging laterally. If there's a straight line on your floor, your toes stay right on it. You're not stepping forwards or backwards, but stepping right on that line. 
We are in the last two minutes of this block here. And we got four blocks to work today. Back she to that hip bridge march. Work, but she wants Steve's AP and she's squeezing through those glutes. You should feel the BBC. hamstrings from that she deadlift. She loves my song. She put my MP3. And so I put her number in my bold BB. I got a black BM. She got a white TT. She wanna see what's hiding in my CK briefs. I got less than a minute, guys. Keep working and here. BBC, and then I'll film it all. I put my J. BC. Scene one. Everybody get in your position. Pay attention. And listen. We're trying to get this all in one take. So let's try and make that happen. Take one. Action. Still time. Still time. Come on. Set that strong plank if you're going to that leg lift. Eyes on the floor. Finish your last couple, guys. We got five more seconds. Five more seconds. In three. All right. Back to Daisy, block four. Last block today, eight minutes. We stretch and we are in to our Friday. All right. So this is going to simulate treadmill again. We're going uh, 30 seconds. Let me get her going here. I know, Daisy, Daisy. Come on, Daisy. Let's go, girl. All right, so we're gonna start off, excuse me, 45 seconds. 45 seconds on a push effort for skier swings. So you are gonna start with your feet about hip width apart. It is the hip hinge using those medium weights, using your hips and your hamstrings and glutes to get those weights just to shoulder height, okay? So 45 seconds there. From there, we'll put the weights down. We have a base effort on a curtsy lunge. Remember, you're gonna step behind your foot dropping the knee behind the ankle, coming back to center, take it over to the other side. Take your time on this one. If you need to just do a reverse lunge as a base effort, that's fine. Going then into a push on the speed skater, okay? Driving the arms, option, going back to that lateral lunge from block three. Back to base for curtsy lunge, your all out effort is an alternating pop squat, starting with the weight in the heels, popping the toes back to the heels. Toes, heels your option heels come up and pivot stay on the toes come back into the squat okay set eight minutes of work i got to back this up a little bit um, we're going to go for three rounds here so we will get a little bit of break um, before we go into the next round but uh we're pretty much working for the rest of the class all right here we go y'all starting off grab your weights ski or swing 45 seconds in three, two, one, let's go. Speeding faster than a midnight train. Somewhere there's such a place where the stars come out to light your face. And we'll leave behind the world and pull that belly button. Rise for the hips. Take up without a train. Knees soften, and then the knees are going to lock out here. 15 seconds. Remember, we're going to slow it down on the base, guys. Three, two, one, base. That chest lifted. Be me, be me, be me, be me. 
drop the front knee behind the ankle. Stay tall, stay tall. 15. Okay, so your next push effort is a speed skater. We want to bring that heart rate back up. Here we go. In three, two, one. Let's go. Drive it. After we kiss the sun, we can burn our names into the And then you can pick up the a little bit here if you can. Feel my electric touch. Taste my supersonic love. Out of shoulders and your hips square to the front. Half or 15 seconds. We got base. Three, two, one. Back to base. Woo! Okay, you're all out. You're gonna feel like it. Pull. Alternating top squats. Find a pace you can maintain for those 45 seconds. All right? The last thing you wanna do is an all out. You have to stop early. Here we go, in three, two, one, let's go. We've got 30 seconds of rest coming up. Keep it working. We were born ready, ready to be free. Halfway. Chasing every thrill we could see. With our eyes steady, waking to a dream, aching to be thrown in the ring. If nothing comes easy, as long as we're breathing, we'll go all the way. Okay, three, all day. Five, five seconds. We were born ready. Three. Wherever it leads, what one. We have is all we take a break. Walk it out. I know those suck, right? My husband just came flip me off. He likes those. All right. Guys, we got five seconds. Grab your weight or your weights. Here we go in three, two, one. Last round. That butt back. We were born hungry, hungry for the rush. In five Screaming seconds. When they tell us to hide. Three, Hit two, the ground, one. Running. Leave them in the dust. Only run with those we can trust. Ooh. If nothing comes to us, we'll die where it's blue as we're ready to face the unknown. We were born hungry. We'll never get enough. Cause we're only here. Got five seconds. Back into the skate. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Quick feet. Jump it out. Because 
First one, I always end up down on my knee. I'm like, oh, okay. Let's you have to take away. All right. Three, one effort left. It's a big one now. You know what these feel like now, okay? So if you had to stop, start a little slower. Here we go. In five, three, two, one. Let's go. You got time to pick it up if you got it. Seconds. All right, we're halfway. Got a little more. Add it on right here. Good. Ten seconds. In three, two. We're done. Woo. Shake it out. Oh. Push. Oh, this guy's from Bandera, Texas. Anyone know anyone from Bandera? I don't. Holy crap. Okay. That was good. All right, we're gonna start with a standing quad stretch. So when you're ready, or almost ready, go ahead and grab one foot. You can use something to, to balance with. Open that back door, babe. My husband is a big sweaty mess. So good. Whew. Hold this for another five, three, two, one. Shake it off. Switch sides. Nice job today, you guys. Way to start off your weekend. We got two workouts for you this weekend, 10 a.m. Saturday and Sunday. Be prepared for some extra shenanigans as I like to throw at you guys on the weekends. Which is why I think today was just long enough. In three, two, one, shake it off. We're gonna take it to a knee. Front heel under that front knee. We're gonna first push into that front foot just a little, so opening up through that hip. And I want you to take your hand to the outside of that leg and turn and rotate, trying to bring that chin towards your shoulder here in the back. Remember, you're still pushing into that front foot just a little bit. Hold it for another five, three, two, one. Switch sides. First, start pushing into that front foot. Open that hip up. Hand to the outside of the knee. And turn and rotate as much as you can. A lot of times, we'll have one side of our body a little more flexible than the other. Or neither side of your body flexible. But if you practice stretching, you will get more proficient at it. Another five seconds here, three, two, one. 
All right, so we're gonna do a 90 to 90 stretch on the floor. So you can keep one foot behind you and we're gonna put one foot in front. Let me try to take this from a forward view. So you're sitting almost like Indian style, except this other leg is back. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna lean forward into that knee. You're gonna feel the stretch in the inner thigh and you're gonna feel the stretch in the outer glute. So from all those mini bands today, those lateral lunges, the leg lifts, the monster walks, that's what we're looking to stretch out here. Another four seconds here. In three, two, one. We're gonna switch. So just bring that foot in front. First start sitting up nice nice and tall, okay? Make sure you got a tall spine. And then we're just gonna push our chest forward a little bit here. You can balance yourself on the floor. Be here for another 15 seconds. Nice work today, you guys. So remember, we are shooting for a target date of July 1st to open the studios back up. Um, that's for this, our studios in Contra Costa County. So Alameda is gonna have to wait a little bit. Go ahead and come on up. Three, two, one. Gonna go into that butterfly stretch, bottom of the feet together, sit up nice and tall, shoulders back, and then just press those knees towards the floor. Um, but that's our goal. So that's what we're shooting for. So if you guys have any questions on that, let me know. Um, I've had a lot of members researching masks um, as to what, what's gonna be the best to work out in. Um, so I'll start posting some of those on social media because I know a lot of them have been back ordered. Um, but some of the performance companies, Under Armour just came out with a mask. So just plan that that's probably gonna be a thing for a little while. Go and release that butterfly. Feet out in front, just sit hinging forward a little bit here, reaching for the toes, or you might be reaching for the knees, your shoulders back. Um, so I'll start posting some different options for you guys, just so you have an idea of, um, you know, you're gonna have to try it. You're gonna have to try it out. And the first time it's gonna kind of be weird. Second time it's gonna be less weird. Third time you're gonna be like, yeah, it's fine. It's normal, so. Um, but if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out, okay? Go ahead and come back to center, sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna take a deep breath in, reaching up, lift that lower back up out of the hips here. Bringing those elbows out, open your chest up. Elbows coming all the way down. Big shoulder roll here, everybody. And give yourselves a round of applause. You guys are done. Thanks for staying to stretch, everybody. Have an awesome weekend. And uh, hopefully I'll see you either tomorrow or Sunday. Thanks, Becky. Have a great Thanks, day. you guys. You too. See ya. Thank you. Bye, guys. See ya. Alan, you good? Is it 10 o'clock tomorrow? 10 o'clock, yep. Okay, perfect, awesome. Cool. Thank oh, you. I'll see you then. Okay, bye. I'll see you then, bye-bye.